welcome back to the new banquet series. Today I have another delicious recipe for you guys. It is a super easy microwavable pizza recipe. And these are little uh, smaller ones, but they're microwavable. Super easy, only need five ingredients for them. And so without further ado, let's get started. So the ingredients we'll be needing for this recipe are two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour, four tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt, four tablespoons of cheese, depends on the type of cheese you want, and it also depends on how much cheese you want, and two tablespoons of some seasoned sauce. Okay, so we're gonna first start off by grabbing a bowl and a whisk, and you're gonna take your um, two thirds of a cup of all purpose flour, as well as one teaspoon and one teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And you're just gonna mix this all up with like a whisk or a fork. And you're just gonna mix it all up until it's well incorporated. And you're gonna mix this part so that it's important to not have lumps of baking soda. And just so that all of the ingredients incorporate evenly. Once you've mixed up your dry ingredients for the pizza dough, you're going to slowly add in your four tablespoons of milk bit by bit until all of the milk is mixed into the flour. And you want to do this bit by bit so that it mixes gradually and evenly. Okay everyone, so I finished mixing up all my dough and I'm just now going in with my hand and the, the dough seems to be a little sticky, so I'm just going to take a couple pinches of flour and I'm just going to slowly add this so that um, the dough is not too sticky when we microwave it. And if your dough is sticky, you might want to add some oil to your hands or some butter and just start kneading because kneading is an important step. And so just knead your flour until you know that it's in a nice ball of dough and it's ready to go. To finish kneading my dough, I added a drop of oil to my hands just so that it would be easier for me to knead the dough and that it wouldn't stick too much to my fingers. I also added some flour as I showed you guys and I've got my dough right here and I'm just going to take this and since we're making too many pizzas for this recipe, I'm just going to cut the dough in half, make two parts and I'm going to roll one part out, put a sprinkle of flour on my surface, roll it out into a small ball just so that it's easier to roll it. And then you are going to roll this into a size that is good for your pizzas. And you want to make this about one centimeter thick, um, just so that your pizza cooks um, nice and evenly. Because you don't want raw dough in your pizza because that's pretty disgusting. So you're just going to roll this out until you've reached about half a centimeter thick. So I finished rolling out my dough and I made two circles of course and they're good and so now I'm going to just be taking a fork and I'm going to be poking holes into my um, pizza dough just so that when this cooks in the microwave it has some holes to cook so that it's just a little more, more airy and a little more fluffy and so I'm just going to poke some holes with my fork all around kind of looks like that. And I'm going to do this to both pizzas. I got my pizza dough on my piece of parchment paper. And so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this into the microwave for about 45 seconds. It does depend on the type of microwave you have. So this could take from anywhere from about 45 to one minute, 45 seconds to one minute. And I'm going to pop this in my microwave for about 45 seconds. Everyone, as you can see, I've got my pizzas. They are so fluffy, it's gonna be great. And so I'm gonna take a tablespoon measure and I'm gonna scoop up about one tablespoon of sauce for each pizza. Um, I like sauce on my pizza, so if you're a person that doesn't like too much sauce, then you can um, do a little bit less or do a little bit more if you like sauce and so you're just going to take one tablespoon of sauce for each one of your pizzas and you're going to spread it all around the pizza until it's nicely spread and then you are going to move on to the next step. 
everyone. So I finished spreading the sauces and it looked like this. And so we're gonna pop these pizzas once again in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds. Again, depending on your microwave. But you're gonna do about 15 seconds and then I'm gonna see you once I'm done with that. So our pizzas are done microwaving for another 15 seconds, about that much. And so now I'm just gonna take my cheese. Again, you can put way more cheese if you want to, you can load it up with cheese. If you want very little cheese, you can do that too. It's totally up to you. And so I'm using a mixed blend com blended combo of cheese. Um, so you can use any type. Mozzarella works great, Parmesan too. It's always fun to have two different types as well. But it's totally up to you on how you want your pizza. And so again, this is four tablespoons of cheese. So you're gonna do about two tablespoons of cheese for each pizza. But then again, cheese does go a long way. So if you want, you can do a little bit less, a little bit more, it's totally up to you. And so I'm just gonna sprinkle all of my cheese evenly around in all of my pizzas. And then I'm gonna see you once I'm done with that. And so my cheese actually already started melting because the pizza was really hot, but we're still gonna microwave this for about another 45 seconds just so the cheese melts nice and just so that the um, crust also becomes a little bit more crispier because it's always nice to have a slightly crispy but still fluffy crust. So we're gonna go microwave this for about another 45 seconds. Okay, you guys, so the pizza just came out of the microwave and they look so good. The cheese molded perfectly, there's ooey sauce, it is so, it looks really great, and so I can't wait to try these once they're cooled, because they are pretty hot, so make sure you try them after they're cooled, because you might burn your tongue, and so yeah, I definitely recommend you try this recipe, it looks so good, and I can't wait to try them out. Close up of how they look, they look so good, cheese is all melted, sauce, it all looks so delicious. I am so excited to try these. I love this recipe. It's super easy. It's way easier than making an actual pizza. It's much quicker. And yeah. Okay, guys, so we just finished the mini pizza. It's so good. Obviously, it doesn't have that nice, crispy texture from the microwave because, of course, it is a microwave. It's not an oven or like a pizza grill, but it was still really fluffy, super delicious. That sauce is perfect. Um, the cheese. Oh, so good. I loved it all. I definitely, 10 out of 10, recommend you try this. Super easy. You probably have all the ingredients. And yeah, it's just so amazing. And I definitely recommend you try this once again. Um, so yeah, until next time, bye.